guys, on Saturday the 20th is a 24 hour readathon from the Mythic Reads Readathon organized by Ashley from Frolic Through Fiction and Char. Like, I am going to participate in this 24 hour readathon. Now, there's one catch, and that is that I actually have quite a lot of things to do during that day. So, I'm not going to be able to read for the full 24 hours, but my goal is mostly to just take all my free time to read instead of going on YouTube and TikTok for endless amounts of hours. My goal is to kind of get into the habit of using my free time to read because that's how I would get a lot more reading done because right now I'm feeling a little bit slumpy and I'm trying to get out of that. So that's my goal and I set myself the goal of reading 250 pages. I'm actually really excited about that. I'm just going to show you the books that I'm going to be reading. The first one is Nevermore by Jessica Townsend. I'll talk a bit more about the books later but I'm already a little bit over halfway into this book and I just want to get it finished. And then after I finish that I'm not quite sure what I'm going to read yet but I do have two options. The first option is to read the library of the unwritten with the very interesting premise of being a fantasy story about libraries in hell that I'm very excited about or I want to finally continue the priory of the orange tree. You've probably seen me reading this book in my last 24 hour readathon where I got about halfway through and I am still about halfway through and I just need to get this brick finish. So I might pick up this one after I finish Nevermore. We're gonna have to wait and see which one I feel like reading more. The goal that I set myself is to at least read 250 pages, which to me and my super super slow reading speed is quite a lot, especially given the fact that I don't really have that much time to read. I'm really gonna have to work hard to get those 250 pages done. So let's hope I can get there. And so now without further ado, Let's begin the readathon vlog. At midnight, I only managed to read a few pages before falling asleep. The next morning, I got up, I got dressed, got ready, had my breakfast, and then I was ready to read. Good morning, guys. So it's time for a day of a reading. And I'm gonna be honest, for some reason, it's already noon. I don't really know where the time went. I'm looking at my wrist, but I'm not wearing a watch. <laughs> I put the alarm at nine in the morning and then three hours just disappear. I don't know where they go, but they just disappear. But right now, I'm really excited to start reading Nevermore. I only have 100 pages left. I'm really excited to finish it because I just, I've just i been feeling a little bit slumpy even though I'm really enjoying this book. So I just want to, you know, like zoom through the rest of the book so I can kickstart another book and maybe hopefully this 24 hour readathon can get me into the reading spirit again. But I'm really enjoying this book. It's one of those just very magical middle grade books about a girl who has to go through all of these trials to be accepted into the wondrous society. And and those type of stories are my favorites. Also, I already know that I'm not gonna be able to read until 12 o'clock at midnight because tonight there is a huge fandom booktube quiz organized by Karis from Library of Karis. She always organizes these wonderful quizzes. I will link her channel in the description. You should definitely check her out. And I'm gonna be on the round of <laughs> Avatar The Last Airbender, which is just my favorite fandom of everything, everything in this world, just Avatar The Last Airbender, nothing tops that, in my opinion. Like, that's what I grew up on. I gotta do well, because I know if I don't do well, I'm gonna be disappointing my 10-year-old self. But first, I gotta work through my to-do list. First thing that I'm gonna do is clean up, because my room, as you can see, is an absolute mess. And about two months ago, maybe already, at least a month ago, I put this table here in front of the couch, which is not where it's supposed to be. I just moved it because I was going crazy sitting in the same room constantly in lockdown. So I just wanted to switch up some random furniture, but I think it's time to just put it back because it's not the most practical to have a table in the middle of your room. So that's the first thing that I'm gonna do. I'm on 
on the other balcony, the balcony you always see me sitting, is the one right up there. But this one is the one that's always in the shadow, so that's why I usually sit on the one on top, because that one's in the sun. But now, it's a little too hot <laughs> to sit in the sun, so I put out a little chair in front of all the, like, the little plants. I think it's really cute. But the thing that I just noticed, <laughs> like right here at the other side, there's this tree, and it's growing into our balcony. <laughs> Like, look at this. This is just a part of a tree and it's just coming up onto our balcony. So we might probably have to like cut that off at one point. But I thought it just looked really funny. I stepped outside today and I was like, why is that there a plant on our balcony? But it was just, it was just the tree. <laughs> I don't doubt about two years ago, I was really appreciative of middle grade. And I talk on my channel about how much I enjoyed middle grade. But and I just haven't read a middle grade in such a long time and reading this book just reminds me of how much fun it is like honestly middle grades are some of the most imaginative fantasy stories that I ever read also this is the first time that I'm reading a library book in a very long time which makes me very happy because I love the library one thing that's weird with this book is that this book takes place over the course of an entire year so that I just read this like whole part where it's Christmas and it's so weird for me to read about Christmas during the summertime like it's super warm today I just sat in the sun for a whole time it's so weird to read about Christmas I love reading about Christmas to get me in that like Christmassy or even just autumnal or wintry feel but during the summer it just feels really weird but then I realized that the author of this book Jessica Townsend if I'm correct is Australian and of course people in Australia always have Christmas during the summer but it does mean that Jessica Townsend made the conscious decision that in this fantasy world because it's a fantasy world Christmas does take place during the winter because it's all snowy and wintry and I was really wondering why she would have done that why she wouldn't have taken this moment to create a fantasy world that has Christmas during summer like in Australia I would I think like to read a book someday where Christmas takes place during summer <laughs> People really didn't lie when they said this book was great. <laughs> I just finished it, which means that I have my first 100 pages read. Woohoo! <laughs> Not even halfway there, but we're gonna count it as a win for now. I finished Nevermore. I really, really enjoyed it, especially towards the end. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't want to like spoil anything but something happened that makes me as a reader really happy I think if you've read this and you kind of know my reading taste you probably know that this is just really my thing let me just say that there are some really great villain main character dynamics in here that I am loving <laughs> it's nothing romantic or anything it's just really good I really hope my library has the second part of this series right now because <laughs> I really just want to continue the series but I can go to the library right now so yeah I really enjoyed this book I think I'm gonna give it four out of five stars the only th little thing that I didn't really enjoy was that towards the beginning of the book I thought the main character was still quite passive because everything was just kind of happening to her because she was just kind of experiencing all the mesmerizing things but other than that I thought this book was really great so if you want like a fun middle grade, Nevermore, mm, lives up to its hype. But now we gotta find my second book to read. This is really difficult. I don't know why I didn't think about this, but I'm supposed to just keep reading right now because it's a 24 hour readathon. But when I finish a book, I just wanna kind of let it settle in. I'm not ready to start a new book, but I'm gonna have to start a new book. So let's go to my bookshelves uh, to decide which I'm gonna read next. Welcome to the bookshelf. So I already let you know in the beginning of this video that I was going to choose between the Library of the Unwritten or the Priory of the Orange Tree. But I just realized that a while back I started reading Vicious, but I never actually finished it back then. So that's also going to be an option. Um, the thing is, this is my favorite book and I only want to read it when I know that I'm really in the mood for it, otherwise I'm scared of like ruining it. I don't know if anyone else has that, but I have this incredible fear that if I reread one of my favorite books that it's not going to be a favorite of mine anymore. So I'm just going to stall this away for now. 
I'll finish that another time. It's both fantasy, which is good because I'm still in like the fantasy mood. But the thing is, I just finished Nevermore and it ended with this really great like villain main character dynamic. So I'm really in the mood for something a little bit darker. And although the Pride of Viewer Street, it's dark in the way that, you know, certain like gruesome things happen. It's not like, you know, this is a book about hell, so. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so I think right now I'm a little bit more in the mood to start a new book instead of continue this one. I think this book's just going to be like the bane of my existence, that one book that I constantly try to read on my channel but never actually do. But yeah, I think I'm going to start reading The Library of the Unwritten. So this is a fantasy about a library in hell that is full of books that are unfinished and sometimes characters from these books escape and they try to find their author in the real world and try to convince them to finish the book and the main character is kind of trying to keep these characters from escaping which is honestly the coolest premise that I've ever heard like when I first mentioned this one in my June TBR all of you guys were like oh my god that's like such a cool concept so I'm excited about this one and it's not very long it's a fantasy book of only 360 pages and I feel like that's something that I need right now <sighs> I've only read 100 pages today so far and it's already seven o'clock so what I'm gonna do now is read this book here are my necessities for the best reading time a book obviously a good reading spot pillows included snacks hydration very important and time. Lots of it. Okay, I am now 50 pages into this book. On the front of the book it says that this is The Good Place Meets Law and Order and I've never watched Law and Order but I do know that The Good Place is one of my favorite TV shows of all time. I love that show and so far Really, this book reminds me of The Good Place because it's about all these people from hell and angels from heaven going to earth and we spend some time in hell, we spend some time in heaven and I like how heaven in this book is also this kind of very bureaucratic place basically and I love those types of stories so so far I'm really enjoying this but I'm only 50 pages in so I can't say much about that which means I have 150 pages read I still need to read 100 pages but I really don't know if I have time to do that before the quiz starts and now I have to make dinner but reading wise I'm having a great day Good evening. Um, I really don't have a lot of time left. I'm going to do the quiz now. <laughs> I really don't know how many pages I can squeeze in until midnight. I'm really enjoying this book. There's a lot of exposition in this book, which I was already like a little wary because this book is only 350 pages and I was like, how is a fantasy book so short? And now I notice that's because there's just a lot of exposition and telling and not that much showing for the world building. So that makes it go faster, but it's also not necessarily the best way to really make your reader get immersed in the story. But other than that, this is just a lot of fun. It's also one of the very few books that I read that actually has a bit of humor in it. Right now I am 75, how many? Exactly 76 pages into this book, which means I've read only 175 pages so far, which is definitely not close to the goal. <laughs> but my other original goal was to mostly just take all my free time reading. I've noticed two things. First of all, sometimes I just don't want to read. Like, I'm gonna be honest, like, there were a few times that I definitely just watched a YouTube video instead of reading because. Sometimes you just want to do something else and then if you force yourself to read, obviously it's not going to be fun. And I noticed that also because of that, I started to gloss over things sometimes. Like things just don't really register in my mind anymore because I'm constantly thinking about, oh, I should definitely read more. And obviously this is like a unique situation because who has like a 24 hour readathon in any normal situation? I don't think anyone does. but. I do sometimes notice this when I'm normally reading and I think like, oh, I really need to read more because, 
you know, I've only read like one book so far this month, something like that. And then I put this pressure on myself to read more and it, it, it's never a good thing. Although I do really love the 24 hour readathons because obviously they're just your own choice. They're just good fun. Maybe I shouldn't have set myself the goal of 250 pages because in the end, I am really happy with how much reading I got done because I finished a book and I got far enough into another book that I'm like kind of really into it. So I do really want to keep reading it the next two days. And I do think I may have come crawling out of my little reading slump, which is always a good thing. But yeah, this is <laughs> the second time I'm doing a 24 hour readathon and I failed again. <laughs> well, as in I failed, as in I didn't reach my goal, but I do think I succeeded in having a really great reading day. And I really hope I can join another 24 hour readathon soon where I, on a day that I really have a lot of time to read and then maybe I will reach my goal, maybe third time's a charm. So stay tuned for a video somewhere in the future. I'll probably do another 24 hour readathon. Anyway, I'm really happy that Ashley and Charlotte hosted this 24 hour readathon. I'm really excited to start doing the little fandom quiz right now. I really hope I'm gonna do well on my avatar trivia. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this little vlog. It was a little different than the other vlogs I made. I just had a lot of fun playing with little filmy bits. I really hope your reading is going well and that maybe this video gave you a little bit of a, you know, little motivation and happiness to do some more happy reading. And I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon in another one. Goodbye.